everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I'm going to do a haul video. Um, I had mentioned that in a previous video that I did. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started because it's a collective haul and I did get quite a few things here and there as, um, you, you know, like how the weeks progress and everything. So, and don't mind, if you hear a little doggy barking outside, I'm not sure whose dog that is around here. Maybe somebody just got a new puppy, I'm not sure, but you'll hear a little, little puppy out there barking. And my little buddy is laying here looking out the window, so I don't know if he sees them or what, but yeah, he's being Mr. Spy. So I'm going to start with Sally Beauty Supply. And it's from Queen Helen. I don't know if any of you has ever heard of Queen Helen, or maybe you have used their products. Um, for me, they've been working really great. I'm not going to say it's going to work great for everybody, but for me, I have not had a problem with any of them so far at all yet. I mean, I have tried quite a few of their masks and other products, and I have not had a problem. Um, this one here is the Queen Helen Mud Mask. Uh, it says it's a toxin relief, revitalizes and detoxifies, and it's anti-aging. Um, and it comes in this kind of a tub container here. Um, I don't know where you can get your Queen Helen at, like if there's other, like obviously online, um, if you have a local uh, Sally Beauty Supply, maybe your Walmart, Target, or one of those places might, uh, one of your drugstores, I'm not sure. Uh, this is a 12 ounce, and I only paid like five, like almost six dollars for this, and it's going to um, last me. So I've got that, and this I had seen on their site, because I like to look on their site sometimes just to kind of get an idea of what some of the Sally Beauty supplies sell, or maybe I might order online sometime if mine doesn't have uh, the products, which, let me, scoochy scoochy in here. Okay, so this is also from Queen Helen, and it's new, and it's called the Marilla face and body cream. It protects, renews, and it's age-defying. And it comes in a nice big tub like this. And like it said, it says new. And this is 15 ounces, and again, it was like roughly there, almost $6. So yeah, I really like the Queen Helen brand. They've been uh, pretty good for me so far. So, that was from Sally's. Let's go to Walmart. My one first trip I went into, um, in, into there, yeah, into there. And I picked up from e.l.f., um, this is a repurchase, it's the High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. I love this stuff. I think it is a wonderful setting powder for under the eyes. I know some people really like the Laura Mercier. I've never tried it, so I can't compare it or say one's better than the other. I just know that this is about three bucks, three dollars, and it works great for me. So then from e.l.f., I had heard different people talking about primers from e.l.f., so I got the Poreless Face Primer. Um, I already had tried it a little bit, took it out of the packaging. Um, this has that... Uh, I don't know if I want to say purpley or pearly. Um, this, honestly, almost, I'm not going to say it's a dupe, but if you've ever tried Laura Geller's Spackle in Ethereal, um, the coloring and like the luminosity that this gives off reminds me of her spackle in ethereal. I mean, like I'm saying, I'm not saying it's an exact dupe, but it's very similar. Um, so I really think this is going to be a good product. I got to work with it a little bit more, but so far, so so far, so good. Wet and wild, wet and wild. Um, finally had the Hollywood Boulevard. Um, the uh, what are these called? Center Stage Collection uh, Reflect Shimmer Palette. I have pretty much all of them except one. I think the Rio one is the only one I don't have. Um, but this is the Hollywood Boulevard one. And this is the one that I wanted to get. And it was like sold out the last time. So I thought, well, hopefully it's going to be there the next time. And sure enough, it was. So I was very happy. And um, it is very gorgeous, like golden color 
Champagne maybe more. I don't know. Golden Champagne maybe. That's what I want to say. Really, really beautiful highlight. That is going to be gorgeous. Then in <clears throat> the hard candy area, I knew they had some new products. And the products I was really going to look for was these blushes that everybody's been talking about. The ombre blushes. And I did get both of them. One is 993 Sunburst and 994 Punch. Uh, 993 Sunburst, these ombre blushes are very nice. Um, you can use the whole thing, like it has the two different colors on each side. Uh, so you can swirl it all together if you'd like to, or you can use the one side like here for your, as just, you know, doing your blush and then highlight. Uh, just, you know, however you want to do, and the colors are pretty nice. This is, um, what did I say it was? Sunburst. There's Sunburst. And the highlight. Don't want to get the other. So there's the highlight, and there's the Sunburst. So there it is right there. That's the blush part. And right above it's the highlight. So, so that's Sunburst. Punch is the one I have on today. I have Punch on. And it's a little more pink tone. So, check if I can figure out which way to open it here. Um, here's the Punch. It's more pinky. And here's the Here's the blush side of it. There's the, see it's more, um, what do you want to call it? Like the uh, frosted pinky kind of color. There's the highlight. So there's them two there. This one here is a very pretty color too. I like them both really. So there they are in this hand. The blush here and then the highlight. Um, I got another one of my bloom lipsticks. I've been trying to get all these different bloom lipsticks each time as I go and that is the color I have on on my lips right now. Um, it is Blushing Bud I believe is how you want to say it. Blushing Bud 705 and this is a really pretty neutral neutrally color. Really nice. There it is there. It's very pretty. And in Maybelline also I wanted to get one of the new iridescent. This is the Maybelline Elixir but this is in the iridescent. And the iridescent ones um, <sighs> Like, it seems like that's the thing now, again, is that, like, you know how the Too Faced came out with the metallic, what is it, the metallic, uh, you know, their, their lip thingies, <laughs> I can't think, but their lipsticks, metallic lipsticks or whatever, uh, melted lipsticks. So the elixirs from Maybelline came out with some. Now, I'm not so sure what to really think of this because, now, I haven't worn it, but, yeah, no, I haven't worn it, I was trying to think for a minute there. But both times I've swatched it, um, it it really doesn't give off too much of a color. Like, it, it's sheer. That's what I want to say. It's more sheer. So I, mm, I don't know. I might like the other ones better. But there it is there. We'll see. Again, I'll play with it. But it's a little more sheer than the uh, elixirs themselves that were known of, you know, the elixirs. And then um, I watched Cat, uh, a, glamorous, glam, a Glamorous Life, our beautiful little Miss Cat there. Um, I could put her link down below, but she had talked about these lip lavas from CoverGirl, and I was very intrigued. I wanted to see what they were all about, and oh my goodness, I only got this one. This is the first one, so I think this is like more of the neutrally shade. It does have a brush, so depending, I'm not too picky with it. I do like the Doe Fit applicator better, but I'm not going to be extremely picky neither. So there's the color right there. Um, I really like it. I mean, it, it shows more. 
I mean, that, you can see the color of that. Not that I, you can't, but yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm intrigued to try the other one, so I'm going to get some more of them, definitely. Lo and behold, I did get the La Palette Nude, the first one. They didn't have the second one there, um, but I'm going to hold off. I'm not going to get the second one quite yet, unless I see it in person. I would really like to see it more in person. So, yeah, I'm not going to do any swatches from that because that could be a whole other video. So, the next products I'm going to show you from Walmart is from my second trip there. And they, I did pretty good, I have to say. I didn't really get any makeup or anything like that. I did get some <clears throat> hair products so, and that kind of stuff. Hair products, I needed to get me some shampoo and conditioner. And I wasn't sure what I was going to get. And we kind of were rushed for time, I hate to say, but it was like one of the days where we were a little bit more rushed for time. And as I was walking up through to the aisle, because of course I still went to the cosmetic area because I couldn't help myself, you know, but I, I maintained by purchasing anything. Um, they had a two-pack of the Tresemme shampoo and conditioners, and there were several different kinds there. It was like $6.98, so Tresemme has been pretty good for me. This here I seen, and it's the anti-breakage line, and it's with vitamin B12 and gelatin, and it's breakage defense. So, and it says for hair prone to breakage and split ends, totally me. Um, so I got that set then, um, the anti-breakage. This one somebody had talked about, and it's the Power Moisture Moisture Rush Mask. And it's for like, um, it, it hydrates your hair, it softens your hair, like, you know, that kind of thing. So I thought I would give it a whirl because, you know, with summertime coming up and just, I do enjoy their masks from L'Oreal. So very, has that nice scent that most of them all have. I picked up a couple oh. little packets. This is the Charcoal and Black Sugar Mud Mask. So, um, it. I, I don't know. I mean, like, I didn't know that there was the mud mask. I'm thinking, unless this is going to be the same, but this is, it. I, I thought it was like a sugar scrub, the other one that I had picked up for my friend that I, I also like to use myself. Uh, this is mud mask. Jeez. Um, so I had gotten a couple of these. In the Dollar Tree, I did say, because uh, I only got one thing, so I just have it with this bag here. Um, I like Tone, uh, their um, uh, body washes and soaps and everything, and this is Tone Petal Soft Pink, Pink Peony and Rose Oil, and two for a dollar. Man, I kind of wish I would have gotten more now. If they still have them, I might get more. I rarely ever order anything from uh, MAC Cosmetics. I mean, I, I have some MAC products. Um, just very far in view. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's not that I don't think the products are good or anything. I mean, so far what I've gotten, I've really enjoyed. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I wanted to pick some stuff up. One was because, um, I had watched Patchouli. She's a very beautiful woman and I love watching her. She really gets into a lot of the natural, uh, ingredient products, which is, you know, pretty interesting. I've learned... Um, about some companies from her. Uh, I'll put the link to her channel too. Hers and Cats, like some of the people I mentioned in here that kind of got me intrigued with some products. And she was talking about expensive pink from MAC. There's something about that color that just, yeah, because I, I, I usually have seen other people show eyeshadows from MAC and it's not that I don't think they're beautiful. There's like a lot of them that I think are beautiful. I did pick up Expensive Pink, which I didn't get it in the container because I'm planning on at some point, one day, to get a Z palette because uh, I have like my Makeup Geek shadows that I just don't get them in all them little containers because I do want to have a nice Z palette. So Expensive Pink is really, really, really pretty color. And a lot of people say they love to put it on their lid. So... I am all for that, and there it is right there. Ugh. So yeah, that 
when she was showing it just sold me. <laughs> so yes, Patoli, you got me. She got me sold on it. So that's it right and I was there. in the mineralized skin finish part. So when I was in the mineral mineralized skin finish, I had seen um, perfect topping which this right now I don't know if it's still going to be on there so I, I'm not really sure but perfect topping it is a limited edition one that they do seem to bring it out a couple times within a year but it's only for a limited time and so many people rave over perfect topping and I'd seen some swatches of it and I I did like it I thought it looked really nice so I did pick it now this is like in this um like weaving kind of a but it's it is it's really nice I really think it's gonna be something I'm gonna enjoy so and I'm kind of excited that this is like my first skin finish because I do have a couple blushes so there it is there that's perfect perfect topping too so but I ended up getting a lip glass I'm not sure how to think about it because Oh, the color just looks so gorgeous, but it seems to come off sheer. Um, and I think it might be a limited edition. I'm not sure what collection it's from. Oh, Cream Sheen. I'm sorry, Cream Sheen Glass. And I got the color in Japanese Spring. Um, and it's, it's, it's beautiful color. I mean, it has like that lilac-y pink going on and everything. Um, but yeah, it's kind of sheer more. Um, it does have a doe foot applicator, which was yay you know but yeah it's kind of more in the long run like very sheer so i guess i'll have to use it as a topper or i can use it by itself maybe but yeah there it is right there if you can even really see I mean, you can see the shine of it but like the shade itself you know so and then the very last place that i had ordered that I have to show you that I got from was Sephora, which I didn't do the VIB thing like some people did, but um, I'm not a VIB quite yet. It's crazy. I'm almost there. I've kind of, I guess, gone on a order happy craziness lately, but anyway, so yeah, I picked up uh, from Ole Hendrickson his little wonders. Thing where you get, which I've been using them, so that's why they're out of the box, um, where you get these little guys here, you get like a truth serum in it, like just a little small one, and you get the invigorating night treatment in this green thing here, you get that one, And um, you get the sheer transformation in the blue tub. So you get three minis of those to try out. And so far, so good. I'm, I, I knew I liked the truth serum, but I didn't try the other two things. And I'm really liking those. Um, and then I did a video, and I'll put it down below if you haven't seen it. Um, it is on the new Tarte Showstopper palette. I won't get in full depth of this one here because I have a video all about it and stuff. But, you know, it comes in them round. It's one of them round palettes. Um, and it has the paper thing inside and the colors here, which I did a whole look and a review. The other palette I got was a Too Faced one. And I am wearing the colors right now on my eyes. And I am really liking it, but no surprise because it's Too Faced. I, I just love Too Faced. I have to say I am another one of them people that just, I, their packaging, not to mention, is gorgeous. But then I just follow for just the whole thing and the colors are amazing. So I got the Too Faced Sugar Pop uh, palette. And I am loving, loving, loving the colors in there. Just beautiful, which I'm not really going to do a swatch of those. I might just do a whole video of this now, palette, Now, the colors too. I used was uh, Blackberry. It's this purple, and it's like a matte shade. I used Blackberry. 
I used macaroon or whatever, that orange one there. And then the gold one right beside it, which is the malted milk ball. That. And then um, the sweet and spicy on the end here. And actually what made me do the look, because I'm not going to take credit for it really, um, was what Lizzie, what would Lizzie do if you are not subscribed to her, I'm not sure. So I'm going to put that link down below to her tutorial, to the one eye look that I have going right now on my eyes. Oh, I just, yeah, gorgeous. Um, so got that palette. Then um, I got... I just heard so many people talking about these, and I'm not sure what color this is. I think it's in a rose color. I'm not sure. But those um, lip creams from Sephora, they seem to be like pretty popular with a lot of people. They've been talking about them. They are very nice. I have worn this uh, a couple of times. And wow, for the pigmentation. I mean, the price is like $13 for them, which is higher. Well, I don't know. I really can't say it's it's uh, a higher price than drugstore anymore because some drugstore stuff is $13 for a lip product now, so yeah. But there it is right there. Uh, I know it was something rose. That much I can remember. Something with rose, the word rose in it. But I will look and I can put a link below if you are interested in this color. Um, it dries like kind of almost matte. I don't, just they're really nice. I'm gonna get me more colors, and I believe that is it. That's that's enough. <laughs> so anyway, viewers, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed the haul. Like I said, I have links down below to the beauties that I talked about, and I will look and see about this color here so I can mark it below if you are interested in this color or any other lip cream things. They're like I said, they're like thirteen dollars a piece, I believe. So anyway, beauties, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would so love to have you. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And also, if you really liked this video, give it a good thumbs up. That would help me out so much, and I would appreciate it. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. You heard it from him, too, that dog. Until the next time, y'all take care and I'll see you then. Mwah. Love y'all. Bye bye. I wanted to get up to go. <laughs> Jeez, Lori. Um, but I wanted to get some hair products and I wanted to get hair. I wanted to get some hair products and I wanted to get hair. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting all excited. Holy schnikes. Um. Cut. Uh, let's take five now. Anyway, I'm not sure. I wish I could see what it says. Yeah, I'm having MRI problems now. I yeah. The age is catching up, and yeah, this chicky poo cannot read that for a darn.